Cleveland natives Joe and Anthony Russo are best known for those blockbuster hits like Captain America and the Avengers series. Now they're behind the brand new Amazon Prime video series Citadel that's out today. And our Mike Polk Jr. had the chance to catch up with the duo about the show and their Northeast Ohio roots. When it comes to natives of greater Cleveland who have found enormous success, the Russo brothers rank right up there with LeBron James and Chef Boyardee, all arguably the very best at what they do. Since directing their breakthrough film, Welcome to Collinwood, right here in Cleveland in 2002, the Russos have helped to create some of the most memorable and successful entertainment of our time across various genres and platforms. You're responsible for the amazing Avenger movies, which are, have made just billions of dollars. Last year, you were producers on Everything Everywhere All at Once, which won every award. Can you please credit that entirely to your Cleveland upbringing? 100%. <laughs> we often do, to be honest, yeah. We learned a lot growing up in Cleveland. I mean, all of our storytelling is sort of centered around character and character exploration. And you can, you know, you develop a strong sense of character in a place like Cleveland. And I think we always uh, really appreciate that aspect of our experience. Their latest effort, the thriller spy series Citadel, has just arrived on Amazon Prime. Can you summarize the show for the viewers real quick? It's set a few years into the future, and it's about a spy organization called Citadel that's loyal to no nation, independent spy agency, and uh, two of the top spies at this agency are named Mason Kane and Nadia Sin. And there's a cataclysmic event that kicks off the show, which uh, initiates a wipe of their memories in order to protect the secrets of the agency. And the whole, the whole show is about their journey back to those memories. Citadel was conceived as an international project, with production already underway for local language versions in Mexico, India, and Italy. I mean, it, it's certainly complicated trying to coordinate three different countries, three groups of, uh, of uh, creatives in three different countries. It's very ambitious and has never been attempted before. We're big fans of global storytelling because, you know, we've been able to see, we've been fortunate enough to participate in global storytelling and see how stories that travel the world and speak to people from every corner of the globe can really unite people and connect people and create a common experience that they're having together and a dialogue they can share with one another. And that's a, an incredibly valuable thing, we feel, in a world that is so divided. And while I'm certain all of those other Citadel shows will be great, the original US version will always have one thing to help it stand above the rest, the incomparable Stanley Tucci. Tell me, what, what does he smell like, I guess? Oh, my oh God. man. He, he is one of the most charming people like on Italy. the planet. Yeah. That's what he smells yeah, like. Yeah, he smells, he smells like, like Italy. Italy. That's a good one. If you'd like to shop local and support two regional filmmakers, the first two episodes of Citadel are now streaming on Amazon Prime. This is Mike Polk for 3 News. I'm going to guess those guys have never been asked what Stanley Tucci smells yeah, like. Yeah, I don't uh, think so. Smells right. like no. Italy. Ah, how about that? You know, the, 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 uh, the Marvel movies these guys did, just I'm a big fan of those. Have not seen this yet, but it looks interesting. Yeah, yeah. to watch party. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. There you go. Place, you, right? You're going to bring the food, right? You know I'm going to bring Diet Coke and popcorn, that is his uh, snack of choice during yeah. the movie. You, Sorry, you, cat's out of the bag. Yeah, cat's out of the bag. Miss Blackwell didn't play that, though, I'm guessing. Yeah, She's liking, like, T-bones and, yeah. and oysters, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, steak and oysters kind of girl. Charcuterie right. board. Mm -hmm. There you go.